Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be going over all the gear that I'm going to be taking on my PCT through hike that is starting very soon. I am going to be weighing my pack at the end of the video, so stay tuned to see where I end up. I have not done that yet, and I have no idea what my pack is going to weigh. <laughs> um, so we can go on that little adventure together. But first, I'm going to start with my backpack. So I'm super excited about this. This is the Waymark through framed pack it is 40 liters so 10 liters less than what i used on on the, on the at and it is framed i use a frameless pack for the at but because i will have to carry a bear can through parts of the pct i thought it would carry a little bit better with the framed pack another new feature on this pack is this outside pocket it's this mesh my old one was this stretchy material, but I think this is going to be really good for drying out my gear and I can fit so much stuff in here. So I really love that. Right here I have this pocket. Uh, it's like a shoulder strap pocket with my sunglasses inside. I got the Good R sunglasses. They're super light. I also have this Gossamer Gear shoulder strap pocket in the large. This is where I keep my cell phone and my pepper spray goes on the outside and I also keep my headphones in here as well and then I have the two hip belt pockets I also have a strap up here that I can put my bear canister if I want to but I normally just put my sit pad up here and then of course I've got the two side pockets I put my camp shoes in here water bottles and uh, normally my ground sheet cloth goes in this one so yeah, I'll just uh, start unpacking my pack and we'll start from the outside and then move into the inside. So I showed you guys my backpack, so now I'm gonna show you everything that is on the outside of my backpack. So I'll start with the outside pocket. I have my 900 milliliter Tox titanium pot. And inside of that, I have my BRS stove. And I can take that on the airplane. But I also have my lighter. And this is my kitchen setup. This is my Nalgene pee canister that I will pee in every night. And I usually just put that on the outside of my pack right there. This is my Frog Togs rain jacket. So I paid a little bit more for this. Um, didn't go with the $15 one from Walmart, but this is just an ultralight rain jacket from Frog Togs. I got it on Amazon. Everything will be linked in my description and on my lighter pack if you guys want to shop for yourselves. This is a nice rain jacket, I think, and it balls up into the pocket. And so um, I always keep that on the outside of my pack just in case I need it. I also have my spoon out here for some reason, but that will go into my food bag. For my water filtration system, I just use this Sawyer little mesh sack. In here I have a three liter CNOC water bladder. And then for my water filtration, I will be going with the Sawyer Squeeze, good old trusty. And then I also have my Dr. Bronner's soap that I carry along with me too. Since I do wear contacts, I like to kind of wash my fingers before I take my contacts out. But also I like to use that soap if we go into town and there's not a laundromat, which sometimes happens, and you can wash your clothes with the Dr. Bronner's soap. I also have some Neutrogena 70 SPF on the outside pocket, a handkerchief, my bathroom wipes, uh, wilderness sea to summit wipes. I really like these. And then um, bag for toilet paper. And then I have my deuce of spades trowel with some dirt still on it from the last time I used it. So I also have uh, on the outside of my pack here, this is my bug net. I don't know when the bugs are gonna get bad. I figure there's bugs everywhere, even in the desert. So I will be bringing this. And then this is my Kula cloth pee rag. On this side of the carabiner, I've got my sun hat. So I decided to go with a sun hat this year because, you know, the desert and everything. And I got this at REI and pretty comfortable and it's got the little cinch thing. So, uh, I look a little goofy, but this will hopefully keep the sun out. And I like it because this back goes down here to protect your neck, but you can also pin it up if you don't want it. So, yay. This little, this is the buff I'll be bringing. 
And then let's move to the front. So I think I'm going to be bringing this GoPro clip. I am going to be filming with my GoPro is what I'm filming with now and then my iPhone as well. Uh, but this, the GoPro latches onto here and you can clip it on to your backpack strap and film while I'm walking around. So I'm going to try that out. If I like it, then I'll keep it. If not, I'll just send it home. Uh, up here I have my sweat rag towel and then my gossamer gear like I told y'all earlier. And then um, I also have my Garmin Enrich Mini. I just turned that subscription back on. And then in the side pockets, so this one I just carry my GoPro in. And this one I have my lavender essential oil, my wallet, which is actually a Z-Pax bear bag, bear rock bag that turned into my wallet. And I never stopped using after the AT and everybody's like, what is that? It's like, it's my wallet. Mind your business. And then um, this is my Nightcore headlamp. So I kind of went, this one goes up to 550 lumens. And I like to be on like the 300 lumen setting if I'm not hiking. But I like to night hike. And so I wanted to invest in a really good headlamp. I probably won't use the 500 lumens very often. But... James carried this headlamp on the Appalachian Trail and a couple times when we night hiked and we were looking for a campsite we would flip on that 500 lumen and it was like daylight and it was really easy to find a campsite so that's what I went with there. I have some chapstick, I have some hand sanitizer and then just a couple different sunscreens because that sun is going to be something serious in the desert and I'm going to be ready for it. So on the side pockets, I have my smart water bottle or life water bottle. I only have one, but I'm going to be carrying like three or four throughout the desert because I know there's some dry areas. I have my camp shoes, which are my Tevas that I carried on the AT with me. And then on this other side, I have my Tyvek. This is my ground sheet for my tent. And then I have my tent stakes in here. And this year I went with some Wise Owl tent stakes. So these are kind of like the MSR groundhogs, but cheaper. You can get them on Amazon. They're a dollar stakes. The MSR groundhogs are 10 grams each. These are like 13. So yeah, this is my Mountain Laurel Designs 1 8 inch foam pad. This is very multi-use. I put it under my sleeping pad in my tent so it doesn't make that noise every time I rustle around. And it's also my sit pad for throughout the day. It's my yoga pad. I absolutely love this thing. It went on the entire Appalachian Trail with me and it held up pretty well. There's a few holes, but I think it's got another through hike in it. All right, so let's get into the inside of my pack. So, this is my food bag. I have some food in here now. I still need to put together my first food bag, but this is a Granite Gear food sack. It's the 16 liter. I actually had the 12 liter for the Appalachian Trail, but since there will be some longer food carries on the PCT, I went ahead and upgraded to the larger one, plus the other one that I had on the AT has a hole in it from when a mouse chewed. All right, moving right along. This is my electronics bag. I also, this is a Z-Pax, just their small Dyneema bag. I used this on the Appalachian Trail for my electronics as well, and it did get some holes in it, so I just duct taped them. And inside of here, I keep my battery bank. So this is an Anchor 26,800 milliamps uh, battery. I think that's how you say it. I did upgrade this. I had a 20,000 for the AT, but again, I think there's going to be longer stretches in between towns and this, I just want to be able to keep all my devices charged so that I can vlog and put videos out. But this bag has my extra GoPro batteries and all my charging cords. I think I'm going to bring two or three extra GoPro batteries. Uh, in here I have extra SD cards. So I'm starting out with five 128 gigabyte SD cards and I'll see how long those last. I also found on Amazon these little plastic boxes to carry the SD cards in so that they don't get ruined and whenever I need to uh, send these home and they're safe in the plastic box. 
I have this Anchor fast charger. I think it's 24 watt and it's got two USB ports. So when I go into town, I can quickly charge all my devices. And this right here is my SD card reader for my iPhone. So I film on my GoPro for vlogs and I'll just put the SD card in there, plug this up to my go my phone and that's how I get all of the videos onto my phone and how I edit. And then this box has extra GoPro screen protectors just in case I drop my GoPro. Okay, so this is kind of my toiletries bag. It's got my first aid kit in it, my brush, um, face stuff, we'll, we'll just get into it. But I keep it in this two gallon Ziploc bag and I just, it just wraps up small like this. This is my first aid kit. I have extra contacts in here, band-aids, KT tape, uh, Luco tape, various wipes. I've got allergy meds in here. I have a leave. I have Benadryl. I have Dramamine, earplugs, and this anti-itch stick for when I get bug bites. I have some alcohol pads in there. I think I have a gauze pad in there. So that's pretty much what I keep in my first aid kit. Next in here I have, so y'all know if you watch my video, I got perioral dermatitis really bad on the AT and it was terrible. And I, if I do get another flare up like that, I need to have something with me. So I'm having to take this metronidazole antibiotic cream and it sucks because this is extra weight, but I, if I get another flare up on the PCT, I can't let it get out of control like I did on the AT because it's very uncomfortable. Oh, makes my face itch just thinking about it. So I will be taking this with me. And then this also goes with the perioral dermatitis. This is CeraVe Ultra Light Moisturizing Lotion and it's got 30 SPF in it. So I'll be putting this on my face every morning. It kind of creates a nice barrier because that's what perioral dermatitis is. It's a damage to your skin barrier. So this provides that and it also provides a little bit of SPF. I'll probably be applying more on top of this because I don't want to get uh, sunburn or skin cancer. But again, this is another one of those things where I wish I could just leave it at home and not worry about it, but I know that it's important for my my skin and something that is going to prevent further problems down the road. So this is my bag that has my toothpaste, my toothbrush. I always carry dental floss with me because I like to floss my teeth. I carried it with me the entire Appalachian trip. I have extra contacts in here as well. I have a little mini toenail clippers in here mini tweezers and just a little travel size mirror and then my contacts case because I do wear contacts. So that's what's in this bag. I carry contact solution and on the AT I started out carrying those little travel size contact solutions and those just don't last very long and I found that it can be sometimes hard to find contact solution like if you're in a small town and there's a limited resupply or you're at an outfitter a lot of times they don't have contact solution so i carry the four ounce it lasts me a little bit longer and again this is like this is extra weight that i wish i didn't have to carry but i'm blind so i have to whatever you just deal with it i'm also bringing my glasses i've got a couple extra ponytail holders around the case but this is just a little plastic case and so this is my bamboo brush it weighs I think two ounces. I found it on Amazon. And then uh, this is a new piece of gear that I'll be taking on trail. It is a little tiny pump for my sleeping pad. It weighs like maybe three ounces and it's USB rechargeable. And you just press the button and it um, will blow up your sleeping pad. I didn't carry this on the AT with me. I just blew up my sleeping pad by myself. And there's a few downsides to that. One is that moisture can collect inside of the bag and then form mold. And sometimes I was just too tired to blow it up when I got to camp. So this year I'm gonna try out this. If I decide I don't really need it or want it, I'll send it back home. I, I think it's gonna be a, a little useful piece of gear and shout out to Kitty Hawk and brother from the Appalachian Trail. Y'all inspired me to get this for this bag. I also have all my vitamins in here. 
I have a, I'm taking some B vitamins. This is a multivitamin and then these are probiotics. And then a bunch of tampons just in case. This is very exciting. New piece of gear that I would like to announce to the world that I finally decided to purchase. I went back and forth, back and forth about pulling the trigger on this item, but I did upgrade my tent and I got the Z-Pax Duplex. I'm part of the club now. I'm a cool kid now. No, but I haven't even set this tent up yet. I, I got it in the mail and I've been so busy. Uh, I might try to do that if it's not raining later, but this is significantly lighter than my Big Agnes Tiger Wall UL2 that I use on the AT. It is about a pound and some change lighter. And I, there's pros and cons and I've gone back and forth, but I'm going to try this out. And if I like it, then I'll keep it. If not, I'll go back to my Big Agnes. Um, but I, I think it, it was time for me to try this out. And just the fact that it would take almost a pound off my base weight. I was like, yeah, I need that. We got my clothes bag, which is very heavy as well. I am not ultra light. Just, just throwing that out there right now. We are not gonna have an ultralight base weight. First of all, we'll talk about clothes. This is what I'm gonna be wearing on the PCT. This is Jolly Gear Sun, it's like a sun shirt. It is so nice, you guys. You gotta check this out. It's got thumb holes, it's got this cool design. There's a, a pocket right here and it's a button down so I can just unbutton it whenever I'm too hot. It's got a hood to protect you from the sun. It's got a hole in the back for a ponytail. I mean, they thought of everything and this material is so soft and I think it's just gonna keep me really cool in the desert. And then for shorts, I'm, I found these Calvin Klein. They discontinued my favorite Under Armour shorts that I wore on the AT last year. Uh, but I like these, this kind of material short and then I like it to have pockets. So I found these Calvin Klein shorts at Sam's Club. This is my sports bra. It's just my Nike bra that I wore last year on the AT. I got one in black. And then for shoes, we'll just go all the way down. And I just love these shoes so much. They're kind of a hybrid between a boot and a trail runner. So you really get the best of both worlds. And I think these are going to be really good for my jello ankles and then on here i have some dirty girl gaiters i've never worn gaiters before but i decided i'd try them out but let's get into the rest of my clothes bag so in here i have my appalachian trail gear company hoodie this is a brand new one in the gold color really excited about this this is my favorite piece of gear on the at and this will be my mid layer on the pct Right here I have some down booties and I've been going back and forth as to whether I'm going to bring these or not, but they are very warm and I'm a very cold natured person and I sleep very cold. So I know these will help to keep me warm. In my clothes bag, I also keep my sleeping pad. So I'm using the, the same sleeping pad that I used on the AT. It's a Nemo Tensor 20R. It weighs 13.5 ounces. It's a three inch pad. Also keep my pillow in there. This is an Eros pillow ultralight regular. I had the Eros premium pillow in the regular size last year. Uh, so I decided to try out this ultralight one. We'll see how I like it. I'm using the same puffy that I used on the AT too. It's just a Patagonia uh, puffy synthetic. For my sleepwear, I'm using my smart wool, long sleeved merino wool shirt. I'm also bringing some leggings that I might I'll hike in. These are just my Under Armour leggings. I wore these on the AT as well. For a beanie, I have the Appalachian Trail Gear Company alpaca beanie. So I love this thing. Super light, it'll be super warm. My cold weather buff that I wear like this. And then I have my socks. So these are my sleep socks. They are darn toughs. And these are my hiking socks, one of my hiking socks. I always carry two pairs of hiking socks and these are the Sockwell compression socks, tall socks. I really liked these on the AT, so I'm gonna take them along with me. And then forgot to show y'all that these are the darn tufts that I'll be hiking in as well. For underwear, 
This is the icebreaker wool merino wool underwear. Uh, I don't think there's a, any other choice other than merino wool underwear. This is a ankle brace and I'm gonna start out wearing it on this ankle just in case because I've still been rolling my ankle. I've like destroyed my ankles on the AT so I'll be taking that with me just in case. This is my bag liner. So you can get this on Waymark. It's only like a dollar. It's this plastic stuff but it's very durable and you just put all your stuff in there and, and roll it down like that and it keeps all of your stuff dry when it rains. So I never worry about anything when it rains because I know everything's in that little plastic liner and it's gonna keep it dry. So this is a Hilltop Packs Dyneema stuff sack. I think this is the jumbo size, but my sleeping bag is in here and it's a roll top and waterproof. And inside of here, I have my same sleeping bag that I use on the AT. This is my enlightened equipment, 20 degree down sleeping bag. These are my trekking poles. They're black diamond, alpine, carbon trekking poles. I normally only use one to hike with, but I'll need two because I have the duplex tent now. So that is pretty much all of my gear. I'm also using um, my GoPro to vlog, like I told y'all, for my tripod. I'm using this UltraPod. And then I also use this plastic rubber covering to protect my GoPro while I'm recording. I also have these micro spikes. They're the Katula micro spikes. I haven't figured out exactly what I'm gonna be doing with these. I think I'm gonna send them to Paradise Valley Cafe. And I do not have an ice axe. And I was not gonna bring an ice axe. But last night, every night I do a little bit of research on the trail before I go to bed. Came across this story of a guy um, around my age in 2016 who actually died um, climbing over the San Juancito Pass. He slipped and fell and um, passed away because he fell like 600 feet. And I didn't want to buy an ice axe because one way to cost, they're like $100. But I'm like, okay, I can carry half a pound more and spend $100 to maybe save my life. So I will have an ice axe on the trail. Um, okay, well, I guess that's it um, for today's video. If you guys have any questions about my gear, Drop them below. Oh, we have to weigh my pack. Okay, hold on. All right, the moment of truth. All right, everything that's not food and water is in my pack right now. Not the micro spikes, not the ice axe, not the trekking poles. This is where we're sitting. Not very good, not very ultralight, but I'm gonna make it work because that's what I need. And, um, yep, that's, that's where we're at.